in the Kofi industry are attempting to sabotage the government's plans for Kofi reforms. Addressing the media in Karen on Friday, the DP say the road to reforms has seen many disruptions by the cartels. But however, the DP vowed that the Kenya Kwanza government will remain unbowed on Kofi reforms. The president has already instructed that the national treasury is on standby. In case these cartels refuse to buy coffee to create an artificial crisis to stop us from the reforms, the National Treasury will set aside money to buy coffee from the farmers as we push these reforms. So I want to tell these cartels that trick of stopping to buy coffee to create a crisis will not work. As we talk, we have already put money in the budget for 2023-2024 to enhance the capacity of our mills in Dadora, in Salana, and in Meru. So the reforms have begun in earnest. Even before you get to the legislative framework, KPC will be up and running. Again, please look at the issue of multiple licensing. Through these reforms, through the regulations, through the amendments to the Cooperative Act and the Coffee Bill, please look for a mechanism on how to restore huge societies so that we can benefit from economies of scale. And this can be done through legislation. Of course, the officials will fight. Again, we must be prepared. Naysayers and cartels are working hard against us. Since the coffee conference in Meru County, the market has been disrupted to majorly sway the farmer's trust in these reforms. I want to reassure the farmer that we will not be intimidated to cow in. We are put in place measures to cushion farmers in case the market is negatively affected as we undertake this radical surgery.